everybody and welcome to another Office Hours with Stitchcraft Marketing. My name is Leanne Presley. I'm the CEO of the agency. And for those of you that aren't familiar, our Office Hours are um, little sessions that we give for free every two weeks on a certain topic that we feel will help you benefit your fiber or fabric business. So today uh, we're going to talk about improving your About Us page on your website. Uh, and I will just let you know if you've got questions after this uh, presentation, you'll see a link in the description below where you can send us your questions and we'll respond directly back to you. Uh, today is September 22nd edition, so let's get started. So I love to uh, start with the know, like, and trust concept for a lot of the presentations that I do because it really is the basis for a lot of the fundamental marketing concepts that I believe you need to be thinking about in order to be successful with your marketing. So we know that people buy from people they know, like, and trust. And I think that it's really critical for you to first understand this concept, and then we're gonna walk through how do you apply it to your About Us page. So the know, like, and trust concept, just really quickly, is um, kind of a spectrum where people start off asking about where you, uh, who you are, and what do you do, and why should you care? And then from there, their consumer experience uh, evolves to liking you. Well, we hope it will evolve to that, uh, to where they're asking, do they like you? Can they relate to you? Is there something about your business that makes them feel like you're the person they want to buy from? And then from the like uh, part of the spectrum, we move into the last part, which is the trust component. This is where I always say the conversions happen, right? And so in this part of the funnel, people are asking, um, you know, are you the person that's going to be able to help me? Can I trust you? Um, have, have other customers that you've worked with had success with you or your product? So we'd like to think about this as a continuum. Uh, and, and if you think about your own consumer behavior, I think that you'll be able to come up with your own examples of the last time you made a purchase uh, and you know how how much you spent on that uh, product, and how you can recognize yourself walking through these three parts of the spectrum. Okay, so the first one is, who are you? And I want to give you an example of an about us page uh, that I love to share in examples, which is Fancy Tiger Crafts. Um, my agency is based in Colorado, and so when I go up to Denver, I always try to stop at Fancy Tiger, uh, owned by um, Amber and Jamie. And I want to point out a couple of things that they do include here in their About Us page uh, that I want you to hit on as well. So I, I want you to include why you are different or special, you know, what's unique about your business. Um, I think it's important to include photos of your building if you are, especially if you are a brick and mortar business. Uh, and then lastly, <clears throat> who owns the business? And I can tell you, I'm always surprised at how many times I go to a website about us page and they're talking about all the, all the things they're doing and their mission statement and why they're in business and yada, yada, yada. And they never say who owns the business. Uh, or there's a photo there and there's no caption and so you don't know are those employees, are those family, is that the owner? Uh, so make sure that you include your name of the business, uh, of who owns the business. And you can see here Jamie Jennings and Amber Corcoran uh, right in the, you know, the third sentence here tells who owns the business. Next, uh, I want you to think about how you can include something for the like part of the spectrum, which is the qu answering the question, can I relate to you? Is there something about your business or your brand that I like? Um, because if I like you, I'm more, uh, I, I'm, there's a higher likelihood that I'm going to want to do business with you. So in this example, this is a client of ours, a former client, Cybel Hovick, uh, who owns June Cashmere. And a couple of things that he's incorporated into his About Us page uh, that I think really check that box of the like uh, spectrum is his brand story. He does tell a little bit of the story of how he got into the business, you know, what motivated him to start uh, importing cashmere from Kyrgyzstan. He also includes personalized photos 
I think, you know, what's not to love or like about uh, seeing such a beautiful, happy family. Uh, and then he does talk more about how the family is involved in the business. So that is in alignment there. Uh, and then lastly, I love that he has something that I call aspirational. Uh, and you can see the photo at the bottom here of his young son playing chess with one of the uh, Kyrgyzstani goat herders. Uh, and for somebody that you know might be you know really moved by wanting to participate in that brand story, and you know their purchase is going to contribute to continuing this lovely story. Um, to me, that's something aspirational. So if you can provide something in your About Us page that um, people can latch onto, um, they can align to, and they can sort of see themselves in that story, uh, it's even better. And then lastly, are you an expert? You know, this is where people are going to be looking to you and your About Us page to, to find what I call those trust indicators uh, to be able to make uh, a sale, to buy something from you. Uh, so this is the Tate Gallery. It's an example of an uh, art museum. Uh, and a couple of things on here that I, I really like that they have. You can do uh, your accessibility statement that builds trust uh, with customers. Uh, they've got some timely information here, like how they're dealing with the impact of COVID-19. Uh, and again, that's going to create trust, especially during the pandemic times when people are looking for some of those trust indicators. They want to know if they're going to come to your place of business that you are um, making them feel safe and secure. And then they've also got a section here on their governance. They wanna explain very um, in a very transparent way how the museum is run and how decisions are made. Uh, so I, I love that part of it as well. Things not to include on your About Us page. I do not like to see contact information, contact forms, wordy mission statements, a big wall of text. If you're scrolling, 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 then you really need to edit things down. Uh, and uh, maps and directions are another thing that I think should just go on a, a contact page. Most of these you can move to a separate designated page. I, I've seen other people move them to a footer. And so, you know, if your phone number and your address are on the footer and that happens to be on your About Us page, that's perfectly fine. Don't just include this information at the expense of some of the other pieces of information, that storytelling and that know, like, and trust building that people are really looking for when they come to your About Us page. All right, that's it. Uh, short and quick today. Uh, if you've got more questions about how to build your About Us page, uh, give us a shout out. Uh, our website is stitchcraftmarketing.com. Um, I also just want to mention quickly that uh, two things. One, we have put together a little checklist for you so that you can go through all the things I talked about in the slide deck. Uh, and uh, we've got little check boxes there to um, help you work through your own About Us page. So you'll see the link down in the description there if you want to print that out and use it to improve your About Us page, that'd be great. Uh, and then also our next um, office hours are October 6th at 2 p.m. That's going to be Central Standard Time. Uh, we've got a great topic for you next time. It's all about how to optimize your business or brand in a virtual selling setting, like a, an event um, online where maybe you're a brick and mortar and you're going to get um, a designated hour time slot to sell your goods at a virtual event or a festival or a fair. So um, we've put together a lot of tips and tricks for that. And hopefully um, that will benefit you if you want to sign on uh, October 6th. Also, if you can't make it, you can find all of our office hours videos on our YouTube channel. And um, thank you so much for watching today. Take care.